Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And we are actually on the game FIFA 20 for the first time this year. We got into the game today because of EA Access. You guys, I'm sure, know that if you're watching this video, that EA Access is out. We were able to get onto the game today. This is a team that I quickly built. I wanted to show you guys this really fast. I packed Muller Untradeable today from the, I think it's like level three, like upgrade. It was a 7.5K pack. I got Muller Untradeable, so that was sweet. Made that team for right around uh, like 12K, 10,000 coins. So that was a nice starter team to have in the club. And then I just and continually trading. And that's what I want to mention to you guys today is how to make coins. And basically our first market talk of FIFA 20, the first market talk video of FIFA 20, we're going to talk about some stuff that happened today because EA Access came out and that changed a lot of things on the market. Basically, the demand on the market today soared. And basically what you see here on my transfer list is just a hodgepodge of a lot of different trading methods, a lot of low tier stuff. You see all these board prowess at 800, 900 coins. And then you see a lot of these higher tier cards. Some Ricardo Pereira's at like 8,000, 9,000 coins. I had some very good luck with these cards today, picking them up on Snipe and then selling them for more. But as you can tell, at the point where I was trading them, uh, which was around you know an hour after EA Access dropped, and then now you can see where they're at. A couple of my Ricardo Pereira's have sold right around 9,000 coins. He's almost extinct now. So it's kind of the same thing with Willian as well, where these cards were very low today, and a lot of stuff rose with EA Access coming out of the game. And I wanna take a look at this on Footbin for you guys. Uh, we're gonna go over here to Footbin. Uh, you got a nice little shot of M. Todd right there who was uh, a lag, it was a lag of the picture there. But we wanna look at Ricardo. Ricardo Pereira, that's a cheeky plug for Twitch. Make sure you check my link down in the description. I do stream on Twitch pretty often. You see Ricardo Pereira is at max price. He's not extinct yet, but I am almost for certain that he is going to get there based on what I see from right backs in the Premier League. He is 10,000 coins. I think he's one of the best cheaper, cheaper options. But look at his price and what happened today with this car. This car was around 5,000 coins right before EA Access came out today. And look what happens. People went out, they opened FIFA points. This car got supplied on the market but the demand outweighed the supply on literally almost every usable card for teams today. Went from 4,000 coins up to 9,000 coins and is almost extinct. He's not done going yet. Same thing with William. And what's making these cards rise? Well, I just mentioned the supply, uh, not the supply, the demand. People are opening packs, they're quick selling players and they're selling players on the market to get coins to go and buy teams. And these are perfect cards for a starter team for somebody who is putting in money to the game. William as well was around five to 6,000 coins and absolutely skyrocketed towards the end of the night tonight up to around 10K, um, which is crazy. But I, we kind of have to talk about why this happened. I'm gonna search for positions, right wing, right mid, right forward. I wanna talk about why these increases were so drastic. Um, it all comes down to rarity and um, the availability of that position in that price range um, for that league or for that country or whatever. So we're looking at right wings in the Prem. And you see William here is 10,000 coins. I wanna sort this by price because the price really matters here. You have right wings in the Prem. You have the two guys up top, Salah and Sterling that are very expensive, high priced. Pepe overpriced at 60K in my opinion. That's, that's very expensive, but he's very good in game stats. Then you have Mares and Bruno Silva who are not the most usable in game. Mares is okay, but he's not that pacey. But then you have Willian, who is, uh, he's got really good stats for an 82 rated card, and obviously his price range is gonna be lower, so that price reflects that. Um, and you know, especially looking at a lot of these right wingers in the Prem, you don't have much of a low tier level. Uh, you jump from guys like Ismail Isar, who's got 94 pace, but he's everywhere else. He's really average, he's at 4,000 coins. Shakiri's at three. Delufeu is at 2.7, that's a, that's a very good starter card. But you jump up to William, who's an 82 rated card, who's got very good stats for his rating. And uh, it's just, when you start to get that next tier up, you can see that there's a lot of increase in price. And if you're gonna buy somebody who's definitely a little bit more on the pacey side, you're probably going with Mares or William. They're 84 and 85 pace as a starter right wing. William just has more of that speedy, pacey feel about him, and his card looks that way, so I think that's why he rose today, and he's in that mid-tier, which a lot of people, uh, they're buying cards for around 10,000 coins because maybe they opened 12K or 24K of FIFA points today, 
and they got somewhere around like 200,000, maybe 400,000 coins in that, in that range for those FIFA points. So that's why they're in that area. And that's kind of how much they had to spend on cards. And that's why you see a lot of the cards that were in that, you know, the 5K range to the 20K range today, a lot of them went crazy high. But also you saw a lot of big meta cards go nuts as well. I want to look at Ricardo Pereira. We're going to start with some of these lower cards and then move up. Um, Ricardo Pereira, I actually want to look at right backs in the Prem. That's what I'm meaning to show you guys right now. Positions, right wing backs from the Prem Ear League. Sorting by price on the PS. We've got Kyle Walker, Cancelo, Trent, and Serge. And then we have Ricardo Pereira. Serge kind of throws some things that makes it interesting in here. But he is an inform and he has, he has stats that are pretty comparable to Trent. In all honesty, he's more comparable to Trent than I think he is to Pereira because of the pace difference. But Pereira has, oh wow, Belgrin as well is almost extinct because of his pace. He's at 9.7K. So these guys are about to go extinct. You have 19K for Surge, a 7K for Aspilicueta, who nobody's going to use. DeAndre Yedlin's at 3.8K. If you want any sort of right back in the Prem, they're just ridiculously high in price. And that's why these guys are up, because you have Surge who's in Trent. Uh, Cancelo and Walker, nobody wants to pay that much right now. Most people don't. So Ricardo Pereira is a, another perfect option for like those guys with, again, 200 to 400,000 coins that open packs today. He's perfect for those types of squads, and that's why he had so much demand, and that's why you saw his price uh, go up so freaking much. Um, but yeah, that's what you saw with a ton of cards today. You just saw them go up massively in price. I remember specifically watching Deli Ali's card. Uh, he was around 9,000 coins right when EA Access dropped, and right now he is chilling on the market, I think, right around 20K. Yeah, look at this. He's right around 20,000 coins for Deli Ali, and a lot of these cards just keep going. They honestly have just kept going overnight. Uh, one example of that is Alexandro, actually. Um, Sandro has blown the roof off of his price. Actually, if, you, if we take a look at this, Sandro, I think right now, is literally around 90,000 coins. Alexandro is 88,000 coins on PlayStation for an 85 rated card, which is crazy. Left back, I mean, he's, he's one of the only left backs that's in the Serie A that has the very good stats that he does. So that's a big uh, point on his card. Another card that just blew the roof off today was Gareth Bale. He's almost 200,000. That's a massive undercut. Oh my gosh. That is a massive undercut. That's I'm glad somebody got that because Bale is selling for right around 200k, which is crazy, uh, because that creates a big time dynamic for um, the right wings in the La Liga because Usman Dembele is extinct at 40k. You have Bale who is um, sitting way above the price threshold where he should be at. He's at 200,000 coins, and you have Messi who is at um, like a mil. So that's a very interesting dynamic. People were asking me today about Usman Dembele. What's going to happen to his card because he is extinct at 40K? Uh, I think he has to keep going because with that Bale card being so expensive, if somebody wants this Dembele card in their team, who else are they going to put at right wing from La Liga? You have Angel Correa at 3.8K. This card might rise actually a lot because people aren't going to be able to afford Dembele. If they have 20K, what other card are they going to use at right wing? in their La Liga team, it's gonna be Angel Correa. So that's something interesting to look at. Bale is very expensive. Usman's gonna go up because people that want him are gonna to have to pay more for him, but his card's very good. And you just don't have that, you don't have anybody in there at like 10 or 20K. Not many people are gonna use Jared Moreno. He doesn't have pace, um, but Correa is probably the next best one. Even Jesus Navas, 87 pace, you know, for a starter squad could be interesting. But somebody who's got a couple hundred thousand coins is looking to make a team is going to want to use Dembele. But again, today, the whole point of this EA Access was cards went off today. Really, cards just went off, and that's what we expected. We expected a lot of these prices to go up. Um, but the really interesting thing is, I a lot of people ask me, are you investing overnight? As you can see, Militao went from like 20K, looks like he's now almost maybe 30, close to 30-ish. Yeah, like 26, maybe he's like 25 still. A lot of people are asking me, can we flip overnight yet? And I, to that answer, I have to say no. At the moment, at least for these meta cards, it looks like they just keep going up. Uh, Alexandro at 90K, I think is 
almost too high. So I told some people to kind of sell on some of those cards. Some stuff is still kind of low. Uh, I think of one card like Malinkovic Savage. I think he's like 11K right now. I just think the Serie A doesn't have the hype um, as it has had before, but this is a very good card. Four star, four star, six foot three, high medium as a center mid in this game. His agility and balance isn't the best, but he could be a very good playable CDM or a center mid for you. He's pretty tall. He'll win some headers. He's a popular card from years past. Um, so that's like maybe a card that is still kind of low that could rise up in price a little bit, but it seems like a lot of the prices have risen up so much already. Some stuff is just very inflated. Um, I think of one guy being very inflated as Roberto Firmino. Um, and basically what this tells me why these prices are went up so much today, uh, it just goes to show how many amount of FIFA points were spent today. There were just so many FIFA points that were spent today um, that it just goes to show that how many people are spending points in this game and how EA Access can change the game. Um, instead of just having the web app period when people don't have a lot of coins, you saw a lot of stuff going up today in, in terms of the, the starter squads for people that were opening FIFA points. The biggest question that a lot of people have, and that I wonder about myself too, what's going to happen from here? Well, we're still going to have people that are opening FIFA points. It's not going to be as drastic as today, so I think you're going to see those prices start to level out a little bit. I think we had a big jump today. I don't think it's going to rise as much as it has in years past going into, let's say, Sunday or Monday with the day before that the pre-order release comes out. I think you're going to see this market kind of, you know, it went up a bunch today. It'll trickle up maybe a little bit in some areas, but some areas will probably stay the same for the most part until we get to Sunday or Monday. The next really interesting thing that we have is um, just stuff coming out with objectives. People are going to be grinding for objectives to get packs. Obviously, they dropped marquee matchups in the Pookie SBC today, and they already told us that we are going to have the uh, Josef Martinez SBC is going to be coming out tomorrow or today when you're watching this video. So there's going to be an 86 rated card from the MLS, which isn't going to be that interesting for a lot of people, but um, that's going to be something that is going to be out and available to us. So that's an SBC that you could probably invest for with some MLS players. I'm not sure how much hype that would be. People probably won't do the SBC that much because it's MLS. More people would probably do Pookie in my opinion, um, but that's something that we have to look at. Um, on the markets. I have to learn where the new SBC tab is. It's in squads. It's not over here anymore like it used to be. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but then one other thing that I wanted to talk about today is you could tell that a lot of top tier players in this game bought teams today because Mbappe right now is extinct at 920,000 coins. Neymar earlier today was 450k before the packs came out and now he's like 800 something. Oh, he's 900k. Look at this. A bid on this one for 820. Wow, Neymar is 900,000 coins. So Neymar and Mbappe right now cost you about one, they cost you about 1.9 to 2 million coins if you can snipe an Mbappe. And before that yesterday, they were cost about half that price, right around under a mil. So it's crazy just with EA access and people being able to put money onto this game and get coins through opening packs. Just exactly what that can do to the market. And again, it, it changed a lot of the low tier stuff today too. Some stuff that was high because of EA access is now low. Jeremy Mathieu was like three and a half thousand coins um, all day yesterday on uh, the web app. Now he's down to 1400, 1500 coins. Can I hit that one right there? I cannot. Somebody listed him for 20 for 700 coins. That would have been a nice little snipe. I missed that one. But like that's a card, that's an example of a card that got hit today in terms of price because of the pack supply that came out. Um, and there's a lot of uh, SBC stuff that has risen as well. Like I said, marquee matchups, the advanced SBCs, people are doing those to get coins and it's working because yeah, you go and pack some people on the market. Let's say I'll use my favorite example as before, this Callum Wilson card would be a very easy card to pack. And he's on the market right now, was he like 6K? Premier League strikers are always expensive. Wow, he's six and a, how, how expensive is this man? He's almost 7,000 coins, which is crazy. The thing that I'm going to be interested to see is tomorrow, I'm recording this late night EU, late night NA as well. When a lot of the EU guys, it's like 5 in the morning your time right now, 6 a.m. I'm curious to see as the market wakes up, are these prices going to go up more or are more people going to get on the game? Packs are going to be opened and the overnights are going to be the more expensive time in the market for these couple days. The pattern last year was stuff was cheaper during the nighttime because less people were on. 
Um, and then it got more expensive during the day when more people got on and people were buying teams, they were buying cards, especially for stuff like this Callum Wilson. Like last year, I remember flipping Alessandrini all the time. Um, Alessandrini, can I get his card up? Alessandrini, where's he at? Oh my gosh. Where is Alessandrini at? Are you kidding me? There it is. What's he going for right now? He's actually kind of expensive, but I, uh, yeah, I flipped this card last year, kind of for a similar price range. Maybe he's got some height because of the uh, MLS SBC with Joseph. Uh, but this card last year was like, again, 2,000 coins. I was buying him uh, in the nighttime for like 1.5K, and he would rise up to like 2.2, 2.3K. You know, you buy five of those cards, you're making some pretty decent money um, because you can replicate that if you're on a low budget. So stuff like that is what I'm really looking forward to returning. Uh, a guy like Lingard as well. I think right now he's like 5K. Am I wrong with that? Am I wrong with saying he's 5K? No, I'm pretty spot on with that. Okay, that's a GG. He's right under 5,000 coins. Um, and I'm really curious to see if this card gets hit at all. It's an 82 rated. The center attacking mid position in the prem is kind of interesting. It looks like he's catching some supply right now. Um, so I'm just interested to see for a lot of these cards whether or not the supply goes up during the day and the prices kind of go down or if people continue to buy teams and buy up these cards like they did yesterday. So today, I'm probably not going to be doing some overnight investing. I'm not going to be doing to look to flip any of this stuff. Um, I want to see what happens on a full day of the market without a big drastic change in the market with the EA access coming on when we didn't have it before. So that's why you don't see a lot of stuff on my transfer list. I just have a few little small things that I'm selling. And I'm probably going to clear this pretty quick because this is the last stuff that I just flipped today. And I wanted to show you guys what I did for that. But yeah, if you're continuing on this game, uh, be careful if you're on PlayStation 4 with the EA Access. There's not a glitch right now. So trading on EA Access, I've been trading on the web app and I've been playing games on the Access. I wanted to get on here and record for you guys though, just so you can see that I do have it. Uh, Xbox, there is a glitch. Um, there are videos out on YouTube and on Twitter about that. So you can get the glitch, I think, on Xbox. But if there's no glitch for PS4, then I'm gonna have to conserve my time. You'll probably see me on here some, not on here some, just to conserve, conserve my 10 hours and try to, try to stretch them as long as I can and use most of that uh, for playing squad battles or for division rivals, which games are on, uh, well, at least squad battle rewards are on Sunday night. So two days, 20 hours until the next competition. So that would be uh, Sunday night at the usual time. So if you're playing games on EA Access, I would recommend doing that and save the trading for the web app if you don't have unlimited hours. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, talking about EA Access, a little bit of a market talk, the first market talk of uh, FIFA 20, that's fun times, right? If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.